Hallelujah, Jesus. Because of the love of God. I remember telling the Lord, he said, Lord, you know, because of the love, and, and I know that every day there's so many people that are going to lost eternity. And because of many times ministers are afraid to preach what God has given to them. They're afraid because they don't want to hurt. They don't want to, they don't want to lose friends. They don't want to speak against sin because they're afraid. But I came too far. You know, I was thinking to myself, you know, I, I used to always think, Lord, you know, I would rather see if I can save one person from the pit of hell just by speaking the truth. That's what I want to do because I love them so much. And I love you, God, that I will speak what you called me to speak. I will not be afraid because faith is greater than fear. One of the greatest things that holds the whole world in bondage is fear. Fear of man, fear to get up and speak, fear to move on in our life, fear to give up things in our life because we will wonder what's going to happen to us. But I want you to know faith is here tonight. Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Give him a hand clap tonight. Amen. Let's all stand undone tonight. I'll get the musicians to come back. The choice is up to you tonight to do the right thing in your life. Make things right. Make things right. If you're living in sin, make things right. Because God cannot bless sin. He will not bless sin. God's coming back for a pure church. Hallelujah. We're going to sing a song tonight. If you want prayer, the altar is open. We're going to sing a song. This is a real old song. I want to share this testimony before we pray tonight. I was getting ready to start our, our, our church service. And I was... And all of a sudden, you know, at the beginning of the service, the Lord spoke to me. He told me to sing this one song. And I thought, that doesn't sound appropriate to sing at the beginning of the service. And so I thought, I'm going to sing a different song. I started to sing a different song. And as I began to sing, you know, that song, all of a sudden, that song was so dead, it was so dry, that I really embarrassed myself. And all of a sudden, right while everybody was in the church, all of a sudden I stopped playing guitar. And I looked at all the people, I said, you know what? I said, I gotta be obedient. And I really feel embarrassed, but now I gotta, I gotta come back. And I start telling the people, I said, you know what? God spoke to me and he told me to sing this song. And the minute I started to sing that song, the anointing fell. And God began to touch his people. And just because of the words, because it sounds like it's an altar song, I didn't want to sing it because it didn't seem appropriate. But it's not about what you think, but it's about what God says to do. And sometimes the things in this world, the things we do might seem foolish, but God knows what he's doing. Hallelujah. But we're going to sing this song tonight. If you want prayer, I want you to come because I believe God wants to touch us tonight. The chord of D. Hallelujah, Jesus. I've wandered far away from God. And now I come in. Oh,
that need to be at the altar. You've dealt with issues in your life. Hallelujah. There's spirit, there's stronghold that can hold you in bondage and take you directly to hell. Hallelujah. But God wants to set you free tonight. God wants to heal you. He wants to bring, He wants to break every chain in your life. Hallelujah. God wants to deliver you and set you free. Thank you. 